Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to day two. Gonna start off the day glassing from the car. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot down, so I'm gonna really focus on ridges early in the morning to the that are gonna be facing southeast, so they can be facing right up when the sun rises. They're gonna be the first ones hit by the sun. I'll look there first. Then, if nothing, I have a spot that I want to walk to midday to go hike to and I probably will spend the rest of the day there glassing and walking around so I think I'm definitely gonna take my time more so on the walk up that way I don't kill myself right away so here we go It's times like this that I wish I had a truck. Just, I knew I was gonna run into this problem, but the road is snowed in and like, this car is all wheel drive. So I, I, I pushed it a little bit yesterday, but that one is a lot more snow than what I did yesterday. But like, I knew I was gonna run into this problem, but like, you can't choose really when you get off of work. So work for me fell uh, our vacation fell during this week, so that's when I could go. I mean, how cool are all those elk? I mean, of course, there was a uh, right as I was driving by that one group of raghorn came out of the out of the woods, and he still had both his horns or antlers. so funny like when you see a elk standing next to like just a deer or a pronghorn they're just so much bigger it's just so funny to see the actual difference when they're standing right next to each other all right so finished glassing up uh where i was yesterday seen like a billion elk um it's just i can't believe how many elk i have seen and like i've read online like and like I've talked to people that are like, oh, you know, usually in the winter time, you usually see them in like those bigger herds. But from someone who hasn't seen that his whole life, it's just so, so, so cool. I glassed all last night and a little bit of the morning this morning, but I need to get up in the mountains. Hey! 
Okay, this is either, I mean, I'm guessing this is a mountain lion track right here, but I can see the fingers. This is the best one I could find. There's been other ones that have shown like features of a track. Just taking a quick breather. So far, elk tracks, mule deer tracks, mountain lion tracks. Haven't seen anything yet. What I'm hoping to do is that this top behind me, it's basically like if you could think of it as like the point of a triangle, it's got like three ridges coming off of it. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna walk up there and then just spend some time and just glass each side of it. And then what I'll do is I'll be able to walk the ridges out to look at other ridges. It's Easter day and I can't think of a better way to spend Easter. It's just gorgeous out. It's like, it's gonna get up to the high 60s today. Got to 73 yesterday. Hopefully I find a shed too, cause I'm looking. And there's elk tracks everywhere. <laughs> Just getting my mountaintop lunch going. Got some good soup. And then while that's cooking, I'm gonna be glassing this mountainside. I've been kind of glassing on the way up and I just got to the top over here. And I mean, there's feet of snow on this side. Feet, like I sunk down up to my hip. So I might try and, I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk across the top. But I'll probably just try and slide it over down the backside. That way I can at least not have wasted my time walking up here. Just about lost it while I'm waiting for my lunch to heat up. And I just spent some time glassing this far side and right there. It almost looks like there's an old logging road or something. And I know just from like watching videos and stuff that like sometimes bears like to hide, uh, you know, hang out on those logging roads. Literally, I see this huge mass moving, and it was an elk. So, elk spotted, still no bears. Hopefully lunch will bring me some good luck. I've been glassing for a while. Haven't seen any bears, haven't seen any really bear sign. Saw a whole ton of elk, which is always good. Um, I just, the snow. I just can't get past it. It's just up to my waist once I get to a certain point. So I can't go on either side of this ridge really. Um, but what I, because my plan was to go literally just the teeniest bit further so I could, but I just can't make it through the snow. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is, is I think I'm going to go back down in the car. And basically what happens is, is the BLM land that I'm on that leads to the National Forest, basically it fingers up and there's this ridge down the middle of it and then it fingers up over there. So the thing I'm going to do is, is there looks like there's a lot more lower down land that has more trees on it. So I think I'm going to shoot over there and go glass that and try and find a good um, spot to hike in on just to switch it up. I, I mean, I'm done here. I, I've glassed for so long, haven't seen anything, and haven't seen any sign, so I think it's just time to move on out. I mean, beautiful hike. I mean, like, literally one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. But I do think it's time to move on. Just made it back to the car. It is 
like insanely gorgeous out like you couldn't literally ask for a better spring day it's like 70 degrees like teeniest bit of a cool breeze sun's just blaring i'm gonna head basically what i did was i glassed up that whole side and i walked up there so now what i'm gonna do is is this whole ridge comes down so i'm gonna go on the other side of it come up and then try and take a look at this mountain from the back side and then there's also a bowl over there that i'm going to try and glass up to So that's all she wrote on the way home you know it was awesome like literally got to see some um, absolutely amazing country that I'm so fortunate that I had the opportunity to actually go and see I mean this was kind of like a last minute kind of thrown together thing it literally was like down to the wire on whether I was gonna be able to go or not and I snuck out two days which was awesome for me I mean hopefully I'm gonna go again, but just it's probably gonna be like in a week or two. Um, but I mean, what a total success for me. I mean, like bucket lists like crossed off, like I was able to actually go and do a Western big game hunt. And I mean, it was a spring bear hunt. I've never just gone and like specifically targeted bears before. So like that was awesome in itself. And I mean, even though I didn't even see a bear, I mean, I kind of knew going into this that it was way too early that all the roads were going to be snowed in because like most roads that are like I literally drove one whole unit basically and then drove like half of the perimeter of two others and basically out of all of those every road that I went in basically it could be like 200 yards off the road foot of snow 200 yards off the road two feet of snow so I kind of figured that was gonna happen but I mean you know what are you gonna do it's still cold out like it's still getting down to like below 30 at night so I'm there's no really green grass growing or really anything for the bears to forge on so don't really know like if they're out and about but I mean I saw hundreds of elk hundreds of mule deer hundreds of white tails mountain goats and then thousands of waterfowl sandhill cranes like I saw it all except bears <laughs> But I mean, hopefully, like this hunt is like, I don't even know what the word is called, but like, it's basically like the start of something good. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. Like my first, finally, my first Western big game hunt in the books, total success for me. I learned so much cause like this was, I've never done this before. Nobody helped me, you know? So it was a huge learning curve, but I mean, it was definitely awesome just to like, get out there like give it my all for the time that I had so just wanted to say thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please leave a thumbs up it really mean a lot to me and if you uh, would please consider subscribing spring turkey hunt is coming up so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon